and it looks like a beautiful sunny day. However, can we make it in time? To be continued. We're Mateo and Misha. We are currently pursuing our goal of pulling off the ultimate Italian road trip, traveling to all 20 regions of Italy. And we've started off in Sicily. In our last episode, we were in the Sicilian city of Catania, where we experienced the bustling fish market, Viva. wandered through the impressive cathedral, and toured our way up the coast to explore the coastal towns of Aci Castello and Aci Trezza. Today, we are in the countryside to visit the ancient city of Segesta. Located amongst green rolling hills, the site is home to numerous Greek ruins, including a stunning temple and a theater that overlooks the sweeping valleys of Western Sicily. We have just arrived at the temple of Segesta. It is an ancient Greek temple sitting in the middle of the valleys here in Sicily. This is crazy. How, how, mm. how in the first three minutes did we get lost? Like we do, we have to go around that way. This is why Michelle is not our navigator or GPS lady or anything. She what? There's only the a... Way. There's only a small valley. <laughs> we're, we're almost there. What do you think we can follow the water down? I don't know if we can follow the water down. This looks like a place where all the water actually runs off the road. However, it also looks like a path, like all the clowns like us that actually went the wrong way and needed to come back. Okay, I think we definitely went the wrong way. Oh, you were right. Look at that. If you want to see the temple, first thing you need to do is go inside and go right, not left. However, the Greek theater is to the left, so that's another walk down that direction. Right. It's really not that difficult. Just walk in and turn to the right and just don't question yourself. Just turn to the right where the sign says temple. It's pretty straightforward. This temple is massive, but it's actually still in really good condition. Like all the pillars, everything looks pretty intact from the outside structure. It's really cool. The Segesta temple was built around early 400 BC by a group of non-Greek people called Elemians. From my understanding, Greek temples are not supposed to be built outside of Greece. That's why they found this one really strange. However, from what I understand, the people that built this temple were more of a Greek cult than they were Greek. And studies of this temple show that it actually is incomplete. Hence why it doesn't have a roof. And there's a couple other features that if you're an archeologist, just wouldn't make sense in terms of a complete temple. The internal space of the temple is actually empty without the usual division of rooms. Hi. <laughs> so in this little tiny area of Suggesta, we found some of our subscribers. <laughs> we are happy. So we are yeah. happy. So it's the first time on this side of the island and <laughs> we managed to run into them. <laughs>
go that way, I'll go this way. You go that way, I'll go this way. The temple of suggest is really cool. And Michelle thinks she's right again and she's like, we should take the road, not this path, not this path. Take the road, he said take the road. Well, you'll never guess what I just came out to. Is she gonna pop out? Where is she? She's gonna be really, really bleak when she realizes that the path meets up with the road. Oh, there she is. Wow, it took her long enough to get up here. And she had to walk all the way around. And this is why she's not our navigationer. Now she's gonna have to straggle at the back. Or run. If you have the similar traits to Michelle, leave a comment below. Do you get lost all the time? Hang out with her. You guys can get lost together. <laughs> Tip. Sicily in October. It's pretty chilly. I now have my jacket and Mateo's jacket. I think this is the first temple that I've ever actually visited. And I'm pretty blown away. It's actually really cool. I'm not really a big like archaeology dude. But I found that pretty awesome. Now that we've completed the temple and all its majesticness. We are off to go and see the theatre which is just over the hill. So this is a decently inclined walk up the top of the hill, but it's just crazy because if you take a minute and stop to turn around, this is an incredible view where it just looks like vineyards. Oh, and a beautiful view of a bus, which I think takes you up the hill if you don't walk, which we just realized. But if you take a minute and stop to turn around, you see the beautiful valley. It looks like vineyards. And then you have the massive temple just dominating the landscape and taking up that space in the valley. It's gorgeous. One thing we've learned from Suggesta is that the signage here is not very good. On the top of the hill before you get to the theater, it looks like there's a whole bunch of remnants here of like old houses from, I'm guessing, when the temple was actually built. Okay. <sighs> I take that back. I found my first piece of signage. Okay. Okay. Well, we've hit a dead end, so I guess we are going to turn around. The home on the left was the home of Billy the Great. He was known as the town like scavenger and like bully, mixed with a little bit of thief. But he lived a long and luxurious life of 39 years, which is a high life expectancy for the early 1900s. That is not when this was Christ. built. <laughs> nice try though, good. I'd hire you as my tour guide for the ruins. Now, now we are off to the magnificent theater. The 16th for our video series here in Sicily. I'm just joking, what are we on, like number two, three? There's a couple more coming up, you lucky people. Don't worry. And behind me, you have the Trojan horse that was used as a prop in the movie Troy. Don't fact check me on that one, but just take my word for it. Looks like the same one. However, they had to scale down the actors. So if you can see like Brad Pitt sometimes looks a little bit squashed. And if you don't believe a lot of the facts we're saying, that's because I really struggle to talk about Greek history. It's really complicated. And there's like two major things in this area minus the ruins of the houses and like blocks on the floor. So now you're getting the facts you didn't know you needed, nor probably should remember. The theatre is pretty well preserved and it's located on the top of Mount Babaro overlooking the valley and it's a pretty awesome location. The theatre was built either around the middle of the 4th century or 2nd century BC. 
Another cool little thing you'll find here in Suggesta is that they have these little plaques spread out through like the whole excavation area, which tells you which areas were restored when, such as this one. The little cave that Michelle is standing in right now is apparently called Sacred and it's built with material from the Bronze Age and they find it pretty curious that the same little cave was built into the theater of Syracuse. But it's yeah, so cold. It's actually pretty cold, yeah. It's windy, it's cold, can't wait my capital blow away. But it's actually not raining and it's quite blue in the sky so we got to see a good amount. <laughs> It's pretty cool when you walk around Suggesta here because you can actually see where they're busy digging out some of the remnants from back in the days. Like behind me it almost looks like they're pulling out a pillar that was once deep beneath the earth. Right now we've got about a good 10 to 15 minute walk to head back down the hill to get to our car and it looks like a beautiful sunny day. However, can we make it in time? Will we get to the car before it rains? We'll let you know. To be continued. Tonight on E! Will she make it in time to get to the car before it rains? Why is she running so fast? Probably not. She's still got her sunglasses on in hopes that things turn around. Run, Misha, run! I don't know where she thinks she's running to. I have the car keys. We made it back to the car before it started to rain. Yeah. First day driving again on this side of the road, this side of this car, and in Italy, and now in the rain, and when it's getting dark. In our next episode, we take on the unpredictable weather of Sicily in October. So good. <laughs> so good. As we attempt to visit the Tunery of Scapello, one of Europe's most beautiful beaches in San Vitolo Capo, and run into the set of the new Indiana Jones film in Castellamare del Golfo. I guess you can't really be mad because, like, we're getting another Indiana Jones Follow movie. Follow the road for two kilometers. <laughs>